Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some more movie pickups. Um, I got one DVD here. It's a DVD show. Uh, it's a DVD of a TV show. Sorry about that. Um, I also have a story and then I have something special to show you guys at the end. It's pretty much a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, we'll get to it in a, in a few minutes. So first up here, I found this at the Value Village. It was a couple days ago. It's five ninety nine, and it's the first season of a TV show that I only just recently got into because honestly, uh, I think I was born when this series started, so it's kind of old. Um, but yeah, I recently got into it. I saw it on Netflix. I knew about it when I was younger, but I never actually watched it. I think I watched the movie at some point, but I didn't quite get what was going on. Uh, it's the first season of Twin Peaks. And, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I, I like this show, uh, now, but I don't know if I would have liked watching it, say, if I was this age, 24 years ago or so, when it was uh, airing new on TV. Um, it's just, it starts out as a murder mystery, and then it gets supernatural and strange really fast, uh, just a, a very quick overview of it for those of you that haven't seen it. Um, anyways, yeah, that one was five ninety nine, and everything was in there complete, 100%. So that was definitely a, a good thing to find. Uh, next up today, I found, um, I found a couple of things that I ended up having to just leave behind. I found the first and second series uh, season of uh, Jericho. Jericho was that... Um, kind of apocalyptic uh, TV show where it shows uh, what a small town, like how a small town reacts to pretty much a nuclear holocaust uh, in the U.S. And it got cancelled and then brought back. So at least there were people out there that were interested in it. But I had to leave that and a few other things behind just to get this massive stuff that I got. Uh, but first up is just another short story. Uh, pretty much today I went to the Value Village. I ended up leaving with uh, these movies that I got here, which is definitely a, definitely a plus in my book. But I did miss out on something pretty good, and I'm kind of kicking myself for it. But there's not much I could have done. I was busy, I was at school, and there was no avoiding school to go buy stuff. And you win some, you lose some, you... Um, it's better off when you don't know what what you missed. Uh, it's pretty bad when you just miss it. But this is what happened. Um, I go in. I see this guy that's always there at that value village every day, every hour of every day. And he just always picks up a lot of different stuff. And he's a reseller. I, I know that. I see the stuff that he buys. And he is clearly a reseller. And when I saw the stuff that he had in his cart, I was kind of sad. Uh, he had a whole stack of Blu-rays and a couple of DVDs. And at first, I didn't really uh, bother to notice what he got. Uh, I just saw Blu-rays, and I assumed they brought a, a whole bunch of Blu-rays, and he just grabbed them all together and put them in his cart. But when I looked closer at what he got, this made me kind of sad. Um... For those of you that don't know, BBC DVDs, that is, uh, DVDs of TV shows put out by the BBC, are insanely expensive here in Canada and possibly in other parts of the world as well. Uh, but yeah, they're insanely expensive. Uh, one season of, of a TV show can run you anywhere from 50 to $60, all the way up to like $150 for a single season or even a half a season. Um, they're insanely hard to find. Uh, for a decent price, and pretty much what I saw was a near complete uh, current series of Doctor Who, so that is um, series 1 to series 7, I believe it was, uh, no, series 6, um, and all the specials in between, all of those on DVD, and some of them were still sealed brand new, and he got them for five ninety nine a piece. Just let that sink in. Five ninety nine a piece, and some of those still sell for over a hundred dollars, brand new. 
and I missed that. But either way, I wouldn't have had the money to buy all of them, so I would have had to make a choice. But to even be able to buy just one of them would have been amazing. And now I know for a fact that he's definitely going to try to resell them and probably for something uh, around the price point of $50 to $100 each, which is kind of sad, but to whoever gets them, it'll still be a discounted price compared to uh, buying it brand new in store. Um, I did see, for those of you that are in the city of Toronto and want to check it out, uh, Sunrise Records right at Young and Bloor is closing down. Uh, their lease has expired or something like that, and everything is 30% off right now. Uh, they have tons and tons of stuff there, but they also had a whole bunch of uh, seasons of Doctor Who that are priced at around $90. But it's all 30% off right now, so it's something like $27 or $28 off. So if you want to buy it, go ahead and check them out. They're open until the 15th of November. Um, but... You know what, the guy at the end did help me out a little bit. He pointed out that there was something special, um, just a couple shelves over, mixed in with the records. And you might think, what is the exact same size as a record? And most of you might not know. Uh, you might think there's something like a book or something else different like that. But actually, there's this... One format of movies, they were uh, released on extra-large discs, about this size, called laser discs. And many people that are probably watching my channel and my videos know what these are. Uh, but for those of you that don't know what they are, they just look like extra-large CDs. And I found something like a hundred uh, laser discs there. And this is the one and only time that I've seen this many laser discs together. It's actually only the second time that I've even seen a laser disc um, in a thrift store. It's it was just insane to have seen that all together on the same day that all those Blu-rays, uh, all those BBC DVDs, they also had all those laser discs out there. It was just it, crazy to see all of that. But I only had a limited amount of money that I could spend. So I got these 10 laser discs here. Uh, some of these were sets that featured uh, multiple discs or uh, two movies in uh, one package. Uh, so let's just go through these. So the first up here is Macbeth. And it's the Orson Welles version of it from, I believe, uh, the 40s, 1948. I'm an English student. I like Shakespeare. So I had to go with Macbeth when I saw that. And all these are in, like, near pristine condition. Like, there's very few minimal surface scratches on a couple of the discs. But almost all of them are just brand new. Like, they look like they've never been used. And sorry, this video has already run to over 8 minutes. So I'll try to get through uh, this set of laser discs as fast as I can. Uh, next one up is Rear Window. There's many versions of this movie and um, other retellings of this movie as well over the last half century. Another Hitchcock movie, Dial M for Murder. Uh, an H.G. Wells movie, uh, The Invisible Man. This one here is from the 30s. Uh, and a couple of these are in black and white. Like uh, Both of these are black and white because this one's from the 30s, this one's from the 40s. Um, of course, they were making color movies at that time as well, but still a lot of black and white movies. Uh, next up is Dis uh, Walt Disney masterpiece Fantasia. And to get uh, another Disney movie, and especially in such good condition, and a movie that I actually really liked as a kid, it's pretty awesome. And, yep, yeah, Fantasia. Pretty nice. Next, I don't really know what this is, but it was interesting enough. Um, it's based on the music by Mozart, on some music by Mozart. It's called The Magic Flute, and it's by Ingmar Bergman, or featuring Ing 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 Ingmar Bergman. Um, but yeah, if you guys know any more about this, please let me know. Next, I don't even know if I should attempt this. Uh, saying the name of this uh, movie here. It's a silent film, uh, but I believe it does actually feature the music 
Um, it is uh, Die Nibelungen, uh, Siegfried, Crimehild's Revenge. And, yeah, I mean, I, it, it's, it was just interesting. I just recently picked up a Laserdisc player, and to be able to find all these at once was pretty cool. Um, over ten minutes now, so I need to pick this up. Uh, this one here was a set of two movies, and one movie is actually one that I was really looking for. Both of these are Woody Allen movies. Uh, the first one here is Stardust Memories, and the second one is Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Sex But Were Afraid to Ask. And I really, really wanted to see that movie. Next up is another uh, uh, another uh, Woody Allen movie. This one, again, another one that I really wanted to see. I actually haven't seen this movie in its entirety. Um, it's Annie Hall with Diane Keaton. And this one here was actually part of the Criterion Collection. And there were tons and tons of Criterion Collection uh, laser discs there as well, and if I could have picked them all up for $1.99 each, I would have, but I wasn't able to even afford all of them, or even half of them, and to be honest, there were a lot of movies there that I really, really knew nothing about, and could not care for them. There were a lot of westerns there as well, but I'm not really a fan of western movies, like cowboy movies. Uh, and then the last one that I got here, it's a classic movie, it's available in many different formats, but the reason that I got this one here is because it's actually still sealed and brand new, um, I just felt like I couldn't leave that behind, it's Roman Holiday, uh, featuring, um, Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn, always forget that it's Gregory Peck, um, but yeah, I've seen this movie a couple of times, but never all the way through. It seems like with a lot of older movies, every time that I find them playing on TV, I find them either halfway in or they're playing at the same time that I want to watch something else, and I never end up actually finishing them. But now's the perfect opportunity to finish some classic movies. Um, anyways, that's all I got. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Thank you if you uh, hung out this far uh, into this video. Um, Check out my 300 subscribers contest, it'll be linked in the description below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, website, they're all linked in the description below as well. And that's it. See ya.